Good afternoon. I'm here to talk to you about the difficulties in turning for people with Parkinson's disease. But to start off with, I'd like to invite you to stand up if you wish. I'd like you to turn all the way round to face me again. Think about what this feels like. Thank you. Now keeping your head, hips and hip body fixed together, please repeat that turn. Think about what this feels like. Thank you, please sit down. What you might have just experienced is representative of the differences in turning between someone without and with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's is a progressive neurodegenerative condition that due to a deficit in the brain affects the size, speed and coordination of the movements we produce. In particular, the complex but everyday activity of turning around. So thinking about that second turn you might have done, your body was fixed, you took more but shorter steps, with the whole turn taking longer, seemingly more awkward and challenging, all of which someone with Parkinson's experiences every time they turn around, and worryingly results in more than a third of them falling, causing serious injury or even death. So with five more people in the UK being diagnosed with this condition, by the end of our competition today, I hope you'll agree that turning really is an important issue to tackle. So what can we do about it? Well, we know these difficulties in turning exist, which I believe to fall into three categories. Problems moving the feet, rotating the body and head, and balance. But what we don't know is how these three interact together, with current treatment focusing mainly on the feet. So I designed a number of measures to look at this, using three-dimensional movement analysis. I then use these measures to analyse the impact of an intervention that, unlike traditional therapy, appears to be able to treat all three, which in this case is ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing focuses on the quality of the steps you take, the position and rotation of your body and head, and balance, therefore treating our three problem areas. Whilst I'm not able to tell you exactly the impact this has had on turning in people with Parkinson's, early indications are promising. It appears the combined activity of the whole body, alongside the cognitive and social rewards of dancing, really do represent an exciting opportunity for people with Parkinson's to improve their turning. Therefore, turning less like the awkward and challenging second turn you completed, and more like the fluid, easy but safe turn you completed first. Thank you for listening.